Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life the Mundane. Welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it's already 2020? With a new year, there come so many new changes, and today that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about what you can kind of expect from my channel in 2020, what good things are changing, and things I'm really excited to share with you, and what not so good things are changing due to the way that some things are changing on YouTube itself. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, like I said, there's good news and there's some not good news. And I think I'm gonna start with the not so good news first. It's just better to get it out of the way and then I can share all the positive, exciting things that are coming. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see all of that exciting news. There's a law called COPPA and it's a Child Online Protection Act. And it is all about protecting children and their information and their private information on the internet. And it is a great thing and I'm very, I'm very happy as a mom, obviously, to protect children's information. But due to a lawsuit that YouTube had, they settled for $170 million last year in 2019. And part of that settlement was agreeing to make certain changes to the platform. So in case you're sitting here going, why should I care? I'm not a YouTuber. This is going to affect channels like this and others. So two ways that this is actually going to affect this channel right here is one, you may have already noticed that I started in December adding a new intro to my videos. And you may notice in the fine print on the bottom of that screen that it says for moms not intended for kids. I just wanna set your mind at ease to say, this does not mean there's going to be adult content. It does not mean that we're gonna be talking about anything inappropriate or um, anything like that. All it means is it's just a way to clarify who my audience is because YouTube is making me mark every single video that I make as for kids or not for kids. If I mark it as not for kids and they deem or um, the powers that be deem that it is for kids, I could be fined personally um, for that content and I could actually be fined per video that I do that in. So I just thought I'd add that little clarification at the beginning of all my videos just to show that I am intended for moms and this isn't a channel intended for kids because while we do talk about all sorts of fun and exciting things on here, homeschool resources for you guys and home management tips and parenting tips that definitely affect children, I am talking to the moms here personally. And so if you are interested in content like that, be sure to subscribe and click the little bell notification to be notified when new videos come out. But I did wanna explain that little clarification because I didn't want it to freak anybody out or have you fear that the channel is taking a direction that you may not be so comfortable with. All of this takes effect starting today, January 1st, 2020. And so I don't fully know to what extent this is going to change things, but I do want to share one of the things that I do, I've heard is going to change and from my understanding is going to be affecting our channel here, is that they are not going to be allowing any videos that are marked for kids to be added to playlist. Well, my videos aren't for kids, but one thing if you guys have been around my channel for a long time is that you know we love to do something called the morning playlist. And I take a compilation of YouTube videos, educational YouTube videos, I compile that into about 10 songs a month, I publish that for you guys so you guys can have that playlist and do it with your kids in the morning. My kids listen to it every single morning before we start school, and it's been such an amazing thing. But I think, that that is gonna to have to come to a halt. And I'm really disappointed and frustrated about that because I love the morning playlist and other people love the morning playlist. I know you guys have been watching it because um, you guys have told me that and I'm so glad that that resource has been available but as far as I understand that will no longer be available because the videos I do put in that playlist are intended for kids. Now, if I am wrong on this or this changes, be sure to check out my Facebook and Instagram um, at Life the Mundane, and I will make sure to keep that updated. So if for some reason I am wrong on that, I will post updates there. I will also um, be looking for an alternative, guys, because this is a key part to our school day and we love it so much that I'm not willing to let it go just because YouTube decided not to put kids' content in playlists. Um, so because of that, I am gonna be looking for an alternative and I will keep you guys updated when we find out what we can do instead. If you guys have ideas of other things we could do, please drop them down in the comments. I'd love to hear your suggestions 
as we're kind of just starting from scratch and starting back at square one. So that is some of the negatives that are coming in 2020 due to these changes. So let's get to some good news. Let's pep it up here. It's the beginning of a new year. What is exciting and new that is coming to the Life of the Mundane channel and to all the platforms across the board that we are on? Well, first off, I want to say that I will continue to do videos every Wednesday and Saturday, but I'm hoping to bring you more tuned in focused content. I feel like last year I've been doing this for about a year and a half and I've kind of been all over a little bit and trying to kind of experiment with what kind of content do I like to give? What kind of content do you guys respond best to? And where do I really want to find my niche? And that is my goal for 2020 is to really narrow that down and to help give you guys the content that you love the most and that I feel is the most meaningful. And part of that is figuring out my why. And we've talked about this before. I'm actually really big on knowing your why in homeschooling. You guys can check out my video on why we homeschool. Um, but I had not taken the time to really dig in super deep into why I started Life in the Mundane. And when I started to do that over the past few months, it's been really clear to me um, how God is leading me to use this channel in 2020. So I'm excited you're going to be seeing still your parenting, homeschooling, home management videos. So no fear, those are not going anywhere. But we're going to hone it down a little bit more into specific tips, strategies, and systems that you guys can use. So you're not going to see as much content that is just there for information's sake. I always want my viewers, you guys, I want you guys to be able to take something away from my videos. I also want to show you a little bit more a look into our real lives. Not that anything I put out here is not our real lives, but I want to be honest about the struggles just as much as the triumphs that we go through. Um, and that has not been intentional that I have not shared that. I just realized that I have to be intentional when I'm sharing systems and strategies on what we've done that we found has worked for us. It makes it sound like we have it all figured out when in reality, you guys don't see that it took 10 or 15 or 50 plus systems to find the system that worked right for us. And so I want to be more vulnerable with you guys. I want to share with you guys more about our struggle or our journey to get to where we are. And I think that will help hopefully encourage you as well as you decide what works best for your family and encourage you that you are not alone. The final thing that I want to share with you guys that I'm so excited about in 2020 is that I, Lord willing, will be rolling out a website, lifeinthemundane.com. It is not not live yet, so don't go there yet, but I am hoping to roll that out here in the first quarter and it will be a website for you guys where you can easily search through and find my videos a little bit easier if you're wanting to look for content and it will also be a way that I can post resources like from printables and things like that that I can offer to you guys where you guys can find them quickly and easily instead of having to scroll through all of the description down below. So I'm hoping that will be a helpful resource to you guys. Please comment if you're excited about it. Let me know. I'm, I'm really hoping that this will be a helpful resource. Eventually, it may be more. There may be a blog component or something, but right now, it's going to be a place for you to be able to find my videos and the resources I mentioned in my videos just that much faster. And I'm excited to roll that out for you guys. So. Be sure to stick around. There's lots of exciting, fun new things. If you want the latest updates on things, like I said, Facebook and Instagram is where it's at. It's where I'm announcing um, our day-to-day -day life stuff, if you wanna see that, but also announcing new and exciting things first. And then I usually do video content on it once it is solidified. So be sure to go and check that out. And um, we will talk to you guys in the next video. And I can't wait to start this new year. Bye.